Memorial Arena. I'm Brooks Hill, and you are listening to the Triple Cities Family Dental Pre-Game Show. Triple Cities Family Dental makes your smile a priority. Schedule an appointment by calling them at 607-545-4148 today. The Black Bears are taking on the Carolina Thunderbirds for the first of five times this season and the first of three this weekend here inside uh, the confines of Vision Veterans Memorial Arena. Both of the teams are tied with 78 points. Both clubs are second place in their respective divisions, only trailing behind the Columbus River Dragons for Carolina and the Danbury Hat Tricks for the Binghamton Black Bears. But now it's time for Black Bears Rewind. Black Bears Rewind is brought to you by our friends over at the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. They've been powering Binghamton Hockey for the last 50 years, and you can join the Booster Club. They're located behind Section 4 at every Black Bears home game, selling raffle tickets. They have special group outings, trips, player meetings. It's a great bargain for just $10, and we invite you to join the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club next time you make your way over to the 607. Highlights from the last game back on February 28, excuse me, February 18th of 2023. It was inside First Arena as the Black Bears were trying to bounce back from the loss against the Danbury Hattricks against the Elmira Mammoth. Binghamton got the offensive firepower that they were looking for as they scored the first four goals of the contest. It was 0-0 going into the first intermission, but during the second period, Nikita Ivashkin scored twice and JT Walters added another one, his second of the year. Ivashkin got 31 and 32. Excuse me, those were goals, I believe those are 33 and 34. Got a little bit ahead of myself right there looking at somebody else's stats. Ivashkin with goals 33 and 34 of the season. Now a peculiar thing, after the game was done and the report had already been sent out to the local media here in Binghamton, the off-ice officials sent in some more assists to the Ivashkin goal. So Colin Fitzgerald extended his point streak to six games. He's gone six straight games with an assist. He has eight helpers over the last six games. Chad Lopez, the primary helper on the first goal. And on the second Ivashkin goal, Austin Thompson was leveled in center ice, but took the hit, made the play a beautiful tape-to-tape -tape pass, put Ivashkin away for a breakaway, and Nikita finished the rest. Josh Newberg scored 51 seconds into the third period, and that's where the Black Bears had a four-goal lead. Elmira did get on the board with a power play goal late in the contest. All of Binghamton's tallies come at even strength. They do give up one power play goal. Last time out. That was Saturday night against the Elmira Mammoth. Binghamton picks up the three needed points that they were looking for and felt like they were stolen away from them on Friday night, but that's neither here nor there upward and onward, and now you have to worry about the red-hot Carolina Thunderbirds who come into the building in their last 10, 8-1-1 one, and one on a three-game win streak. By default, they are the hottest team in the FPHL right now. They traveled up late last night from the Winston-Salem Triad region of North Carolina and arrived this morning, came to the rink, took a morning skate, Went back to the hotel, took some naps, and are now ready for 60 minutes of hockey. You're going to hear from Coach Brant Sherwood in our Tully's Coach's Corner about how important the first period is going to be tonight. Trying to catch Thunderbirds maybe a little bit still napping uh, back at the hotel. But only time will tell how that's going to work out. Find out when we come back as we continue the Triple Cities Family Dental pregame show after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton.
Welcome back into the Triple Cities Family Dental pregame show. I'm Brooks Hill flying solo tonight. Alex Jones back at home recovering from an illness, and we want to wish Alex the best. Hopefully we'll see him later on this weekend. So it's just like a traditional radio broadcast tonight, as if the Black Bears were on the road. Brooks Hill flying solo, so everybody have a little bit more extra patience tonight with me as I try to cover play-by-play -play and color at the same time. One thing I don't have to cover is a great interview with interim head coach Brant Sherwood. Coach Sherwood was gracious to give us some time after the team meeting today. So I'm going to go ahead, stop talking for now, and here's our pregame interview with Brant Sherwood on the Tully's Coach's Corner. So go ahead and take a listen, everybody. All right, now it's time for our Tully's Coach's Corner. I'm joined now by interim head coach Brant Sherwood. And Coach Sherwood, a three-game weekend for the first time for the Black Bears. It'll start off a six games and nine-day span for the Binghamton squad. What's the key to start off on a positive note on night one tonight? Not think ahead, just focus on each shift, uh, one shift at a time, one game at a time. Um, just regroup after every five minutes. Yeah, so uh, just being present. I think that's the key to uh, this uh, lot of games in uh, the next uh, nine days. And do you think that trying to catch Carolina early in this one, being that they traveled essentially all through the night last night and this morning as well, making their way up to Binghamton, will play a big factor in the first period? Brooks, see, we talk about this all the time. The first five minutes is so huge. I don't like if we're on the road, if we're home, it's so big. I think it's one of the biggest uh, moments in this league. And yeah, we got, we got to have a huge first five and we got to have a good first shift. Well, we also brought in a new player this week. Everett Thompson from Grand Rapids, Michigan comes over in a trade one for one in exchange for the rights to Taylor Cutting. He plays forward as a gritty got 18 points on the year. But what can you tell fans back home about Everett Thompson that might just not show up in a box score? Um, well, I, I played with him, I played against him, and I can tell you he gets under under uh, guys' skins. And he he's he likes to throw big hits, so uh, he'll make some noise that way. He'll answer the bell in fights, but also he, he's got some good touch and can bury the puck as well. So we got an all-around player in uh, E.T. One more player I want to bring up specifically, uh, Colin Fitzgerald has been playing excellent on the back end on your blue line here the last couple of weeks. What's been the key to Fitzgerald's elevated play um, since the turn of the calendar? Honestly, I think it's just confidence. Um, I, I saw a lot of potential. I saw a lot of upside in this game. I think he's the new age defenseman. Um, he has great angles. Um, he keeps the puck in well. He's just so quick. He's like very agile. Uh, there's there's not enough good things I could say about Colin. I really love his game. I think he can play at the next level, the level past that. He's um, just an all-around new age player. He He's our, our version of a Cal McCarr. <laughs> well, that's a very uh, high compliment. Fitzgerald also riding a six-game assist streak. So we're seeing if Colin can extend that tonight. He's been uh, one of the producers offensively from the blue line. He's tied with Kyle Powell at the top, leading the blue liners in points. But, Coach Sherwood, we want to thank you for your time, and good luck tonight here against the Carolina Thunderbirds coming up soon. Thank you so much, Brooksy. Let's have a good one. All right, that's the voice of interim head coach Brian Sherwood. More to come on Triple City's Family Dental pregame show after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton.
Welcome back into the Triple Cities Family Dental pregame show. Triple Cities Family Dental makes your smile their priority. You can schedule an appointment today by calling them at 607-545-4148 today. And we appreciate Coach Sherwood for giving us some time after the team meeting today. I was running a little bit tardy on getting down there for the pregame interview, but he had a very uh, cheerful attitude about him as much as the guys in the locker room knowing that they get to play three games at home tonight in front of some of the best fans in the FPHL. Black Bears with a sellout last weekend against the Danbury Hattricks on a Friday night. Crowd still filling in here. It's always a late arriving crowd. So we're gonna be gonna wait until probably the second period to announce the attendance going into tonight's contest as the Anthem group start to make their way out towards the ice. Let's go ahead and run through the injuries and scratches tonight for the Binghamton Black Bears. For the Black Bears, Tyler Jurich is still out with the upper body concern. He has a timetable set back to March 17th as his aiming point to return. That's a road game in Elmira after the Southern road trip. So hopefully Austin Tom, excuse me, uh, Tyler Jurich will be able uh, and be ready for the home stretch before the playoffs for the Binghamton squad. Just five goals off of the all-time FPHL record. Justin Coachman and the extra defenseman tonight will be out of the lineup. Drawing back in Don Oliveri and Cam Yarwood back in the lineup. Yarwood missing about the last three weeks with that knee injury. Back in the lineup tonight trying to give it a go before the Black Bears head south for the winter. Don Oliveri back in the lineup tonight for the first time since Star Wars night. Back at the beginning of the month, about a three-week break for Don Oliveri as well. Extra goaltender tonight is Jeremy Forget. And those are your Court Gesture Athletic Club injuries and scratches brought to you by the Court Gesture Athletic Club Binghamton's premier fitness facility. If you recognize that new voice on the PA, it's going to be Cole Parenti, our ringside reporter, as we are shuffling the deck here tonight. People being new PA announcers, MCs, broadcast riding solo, so we are rotating the voice talents of the Black Bears tonight, going deep into the bullpen here on Friday night. We're wishing Cole the best, his first night of PA. A good kid who wants to get a career in broadcasting and the more hats you wear, the better tool you will be. Don Oliveri making his second start as a Black Bear and Colin Fitzgerald on the blue line with him tonight. Gonna be partnered up Fitzgerald on a six game assist streak as well. Ford group, Chad Lopez, Nikita Ivoshkin and Austin Thompson. And in net will be a Riley McVeigh. More on McVeigh in just a minute. For the Carolina Thunderbirds on the blue line, 22 and 24, Tucker Firth and Yuri Pes Pestica, excuse me, Yuri Pestica, 24 and Tucker Firth on the blue line at Ford. It'll be John Shalak, John Butita, the captain, and number eight, Justin Bioni. For Garrett Rutledge's club, the Thunderbirds come in with a record of 27-8-2 on the year. 78 points, second place in the Continental Division. 22 regulation wins, two wins in a shootout. That's tied for a league high. Their goal differential is 202 goals for, 118 goals against for a differential of plus 84. That's second in the Continental Division and that is second overall in the league. Black Bears third overall, first in the Empire at a plus 72. Binghamton 26, nine and two, 78 points as well. 24 regulation wins, two in overtime. No shootout victories for the Black Bears. They are 0 and 1 in that category this year as the Thunderbirds take the ice and we get ready for our anthem groups. We come back, we'll have the presentation of the National Anthem followed by the BAE Systems opening puck drop after this on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton.
An excellent job by Owego Elementary School doing the national anthem and Homer Brink Elementary School performing God Bless America tonight. There's only one thing left to do now, and that's for the BAE Systems opening face-off brought to you by our friends, of course, over at BAE Systems, proud sponsors of the Binghamton Black Bears. Also having some members of the SUNY Broom Alumni Association in the building tonight and dropping the ceremonial puck drop. Making his way over to the faceoff dot is Captain. Excuse me, alternate captain Kyle Powell filling in for Jake Schultz, who is still out of the lineup tonight. A ceremonial puck drop. John Butita shaking hands with Kyle Powell. Those guys have run into each other with their storied long minor league careers here. It looks like we are ready to go. Tonight, Thompson and Johnson goaltending matchup is number 72, Mario Cavallari, who's been doing a ton of the heavy lifting this year for the Thunderbirds. And he will be facing off with number 30, the FPHL goaltender of the month for the month of December, Riley McVeigh. Jeremy Forget, the extra goaltender tonight, dressed in a suit, and Taylor Joseph, the backup, ready and waiting in case his number is called. The Worldwide Sports Supply Ice Crew is getting the carpet off of the ice with help from the arena maintenance staff. And as soon as they skate off, we will be ready to go. Here, Ice Crew also running a little short on hands tonight as well. Thompson. And Festica lining up against each other. Festica listed as a defenseman on the roster for the Thunderbirds. Tucker fourth on the blue line. Hovering right now for the time being. Justin Bioni manning the line. And Tucker Firth with the full shield glass visor. That's going to fog up a little bit, so we're going to see Tucker Firth with a ton of maintenance work on that visor tonight. We are ready to go. Opening faceoff is away. It's pushed back by the Thunderbirds captain, John Butita and Carolina had the first possession. They try to exit the zone, but it's a turnover instead off to Colin Fitzgerald who will chip it ahead for Lopez, trying to get it deep behind 
the Carolina net, but instead the Thunderbirds take over possession. First of three games this weekend between the Black Bears and the T-Birds. Here inside Vision Veterans Memorial Arena, Ivashkin misplayed the puck at the blue line, forcing an offsides. And we have our first stoppage of play with 19.32 left to go. Oliveri shaking out the legs a little bit underneath him. Hasn't been in the lineup the last couple of weeks, wrapping up his college coaching season. Now ready to be with the Black Bears for the foreseeable future. Carolina with a nifty play off of the neutral zone faceoff. Took him a little bit to get out of the zone, but out comes Shalak. Shalak skating through the neutral zone on the backhander. First shot of the game is swallowed up by McVeigh, and he will squeeze the puck against his chest and hold for a whistle. First shot belongs to Carolina. You can see the Thunderbirds captain, Butita, talking with his line mates about opening up the ice, getting a look now at Gus Ford. That's number 10 in white, leading the FPHL now in points by 20 in his second place rear view mirror is Nikita Ivoshkin. Nifty move by Gavin Yates sends Gus Ford down to the ice. Yates coast to coast. Centers up out in front and the Black Bears score. What a play from Gavin Yates going coast to coast. Sets it up to Mac Lewis and not even a minute into the contest. The Black Bears are on the board. One nothing Binghamton. That's gonna go down as a Gavin Yates hustle play as the Black Bears score just 58 seconds into the contest. Take a look at the Heinz energy replay. Gavin Yates gets the goaltender to commit and Mac Lewis is in the right place at the right time. Mac Lewis gets his seventh of the season. Gavin Yates' 23rd assist. And penalty coming up against Carolina as Gavin Yates was upended in the offensive zone. Carolina is headed to the penalty box and the Black Bears have a chance to get ahead early here with the power play. Black Bears have the number one power play in the FPHL operating at just under 26%. Excuse me, at 26.5%. It's the Henny Hard Seltzer power play. It'll be Kirkby, Oliveri, Lopez, Thompson, and Ivoshkin out first. Time of the penalty, one minute, 12 seconds. Carolina takes the first penalty. Blake Peavy, two minutes for tripping. Cole Parenti got to do his first ever goal call as Ivoshkin's taken down five on three now coming up. Centering pass out in front. Carolina touches up on it. And the Black Bears with a minute 44. Extra man time coming up. Carolina doesn't like that call whatsoever. One minute and 29 seconds into the period. Carolina has taken the first two penalties of the game. Blake Peavy got a trip first. And that one right in front of the official, according to the Heinz Energy Replay. Since Yuri Pestica to the box as well. See what Binghamton can do with a two-man advantage for a minute 44. All-important face-off win coming up as it looks like a member of Carolina's squad, excuse me, squad, had to buckle a chin strap. Jacob Schnapp loses it to Gavin Yates. Black Bear set it up. Oliveri, top of the umbrella, brought in for a power play specialist. Loads up the cannon, fires. That was tipped from Schnapp out in front. Rebound came right to Ivoshkin's stick, but he couldn't get a clean touch on it. Yates in the high slot. Down low for Ivoshkin, looking for low tip in backside. Too hot to handle. Yates over to Yarwood, sets it back over to Oliveri. They play catch. Nice backhand pass from Yarwood. Ivoshkin behind the net, centers up. Paw down legally by Yarwood, loading it up for Oliveri. And that goes off the mask of Cavalieri out in front. And Gavin Yates is taken down right on the side of the net. Linesman intervene very quickly. That's hit way from behind. Victor Grabinikov grabbed a member of the Binghamton squad. It is Gavin Yates, and he's taken down immediately. Looks like they're going to usher Gavin Yates over to the penalty box. 
And now we go from five on three to four on three very quickly. Take a look at this Heinz Energy replay. Yarwood over to Oliveri will be at the right side of your screen. So Gavin Yates is looking for the loose puck. And then Grabinikoff just comes down and takes Yates from behind. So now we go to four on three. A lot of penalties in this one early. 2.04, time of the penalty. That means Binghamton's power play will effectively go 0 for 1. That's an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Black Bears open up the ice, though. That's the spin zone. You have to look at it. Yarwood over to Oliveri. Thought about it. Didn't get a clean hand on the puck. Spins around one member of the Thunderbirds. Yarwood back down for Ivasha and hops his stick. Puck still in the offensive side for the Black Bears. Yarwood and Oliveri trade spots. Top of the umbrella for Oliveri. A wrist shot, trying to go glove side. Blocked out in front. The rebound's available, and Ivashkin tips it in. Two nothing, Black Bears. They score on the power play. Nikita Ivashkin scores his 35th goal of the year. And the Black Bears are up two nothing early in this one. That's a power play goal for the Binghamton Black Bears. And now, Blake Peavy released from the penalty box. We go to four on four hockey. They are now one for two on the Henny Hard Seltzer power play coming in. Gus Ford, leading point scorer in the league. Had the puck stripped away from him at the blue line. Fitzgerald now being peppered in his own end by Josh Kuplinger. Penalties coming up again. And there goes Riley McVay. Black Bears going back onto the power play. Fitzgerald tries to back end one out. Gus Ford sends it wide and high. Sticking is the call. Referees intervening very early here in this one. Matthew Bozerin standing up and throwing a towel up in the air, just please uh, displaying his displeasure with the officiating. Garrett Rutledge, head coach for the Thunderbirds with some arms up in the air, asking for an explanation from one of the officials. He didn't get one. 3.09 time of that penalty. High sticking is the call. Two minute minor as Josh Copelinger gets the gate here. Four penalties already. We haven't even played four minutes, folks. This puck is gonna be cleared down the length of the ice. Josh two minutes Excuse me, that's Josh Keplinger. Guilty of the high sticking infraction. Ivashkin coming down the right wing side. Ton of speed. Ivashkin in. Power move saved by Cavallari. Thunderbirds get to the loose puck and they will throw it down the length of the ice. One man coming out of the penalty box. Black Bears now officially one for three. Trying to make it two for four. Traditional five on four power play now for the Binghamton Club. Lopez had it stolen away down low. Stopping and starting is Shalak behind his own net. Black Bears on the forecheck very heavily, trying to keep the puck in the offensive side, and their hard work is rewarded. Puck knocked away by the goaltender, Ivashkin. Stopping and starting down low, top of the umbrella. Boylar scored a power play goal last weekend against Danbury, looking for a tip instead. It blocked out in front by Shalak. Ivashkin tries to go off the back of the net. It will be intercepted by the T-Birds defense, and Blake Peavy, will shoot this puck down behind the Binghamton bench, excuse me, net. And now Gavin Yates catches his breath and starts the breakout as the Black Bears roll the line change, send out a different power play unit. Yates, right wing side, ton of east-west speed, coming behind, circles the wagon. Boylar, slap shot, tipped on by Thompson. That puck is going wide of the net. It got tipped on in the last second off the toe of Austin Thompson's stick and melted down by the goaltender, Cavallari. 15.26 left to go. We stay right here. We've had plenty of stoppages, plenty of penalties in this one early. Crowd still making their way in. Puck one back to Fitzgerald by Yates. Fitzgerald. Towing the line, six game point streak for Colin. Gavin Yates tries to center up, gets deflected out in front. Carolina misplayed it off the first try, but second attempt is an exit out of the zone. 
Binghamton with 15 seconds left to go. Final push on the Henny Hard Seltzer power play. Their fourth one of the first period. Referees intervening tonight here early and often for both sides. Gates crossing over the line. East-West speed again. Circles the net. Deja vu. Centers out in front for Kirkby, and he's absolutely robbed by Cavallari. What a save by the Thunderbirds goaltender to keep this game at 2 nothing. The Black Bears tried to extend the lead one more time. Tyson Kirkby got a stick on it, but sent it right into the pads of Mario Cavallari. Cavallari keeping this game at 2 nothing in favor of the Black Bears squad. First five minutes, Binghamton up 2 to nothing. Back with you after these message on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back to the action here on Fox Sports 1430. Tara Pitcher doing the MC duties for the first time tonight. She's doing a great job trying to energize the crowd, and they've had a lot to cheer about here in the first five minutes. Black Bears score at even strength and on the power play. As we take a look at the Heinz Energy replay, Tyson Kirkby absolutely robbed by Mario Cavalieri right on the doorstep. Binghamton trying to blow the roof off of this place very early here in this one. Brooks Hill flying solo. Alex Jones out tonight on the injuries and scratches list. We hope to see Alex later this weekend. A wrist shot put on by Kyle Powell is blockered away by the Thunderbirds goaltender. And now Carolina will try to generate their offense. They had the first shot of the contest, but then the Black Bears rattled off the next seven in a row. Carolina can't get a clean entry into the zone. They have it hop their stick right away. FIFA out to the blue line in the middle third of the ice. Now Carolina gets their engine started. Baker with a slap shot blocked by Kyle Powell out in front. Powell and Baker exchanging a little bit of shoves out in front. Baker looking at the official, throwing his hands up in the air. Penalty is going to be called by the trail official in this one. And it looks like Carolina is going to be headed to their first power play tonight. So Kyle Powell is going to get the gate. And he will get two for roughing. 5.52 time of that penalty. Second Black Bears penalty of the game. Three so far for Carolina. And now two for the Thunder. Excuse me. Three for the Thunderbirds. Two for the Black Bears. Kyle Powell, two for roughing. Carolina's power play, third in the FPHL, 38 power play goals, operating at 21% this year. Tyson Kirkby trying to tie up Keplinger, and Keplinger and Kirkby still fight over it, but held in by the Thunderbirds at the line. Much needed power play opportunity for the Thunderbirds. A wrist shot put on by Keplinger and McVeigh will hold for a whistle. Check out the Beer Tree Beer Garden on the main concourse behind section one. We'll get the official goal reads here in a minute. As they still come in, quick shot right off the face off. McVeigh down in the butterfly, makes the pad save, and the Black Bears will push this puck down the length of the ice. Thunderbirds circle behind their own net. Pringle. Starts the breakout. Keplinger will drop it back. Going to be stolen away by Tyson Kirkby. Tyson Kirkby saucers it out in front for Fitzgerald in alone. And that puck was going to be deflected. Did it go out? Yes, it did. Referee says it was tipped out of play at the last second. Black Bears on the Henny, or excuse me, that is the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Generating some shorthanded opportunities. Backhanded saucer beautifully to Fitzgerald. And I believe that puck just rides the blocker of Cavalieri into the netting. 
Offensive zone faceoff for the Black Bears on the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Ivoshkin stays on the four check. No, excuse me, that's not Ivoshkin. Getting our first look at the newest member of the Binghamton Black Bears, Everett Thompson, number nine in black and green this weekend. Thompson coming over in the trade from the Motor City Rockers. 18 points on the year. Spent the last bit of four season with the Thunderbirds. So a little bit of multiple storylines going on here tonight for Everett Thompson playing against his former team of last year. Thompson part of the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill unit. 43 seconds left to go. Boylar fans on a clearing attempt. Yarwood's lost his stick. He's calling for one from one of the forwards. Cross ice pass over to Tucker Fourth. Up top of the point, Everett Thompson diving down to block the shot. Welcome to Binghamton. Good play by number nine in black. Yarwood still without a stick. Couldn't make it over all the way. Backdoor pass across and the Thunderbirds are on the board with a power play goal. Yarwood not having a stick costed the Thunderbirds. He could not recover and Carolina scores on their first power play of the night, one for one. And the score is two to one in favor of the Black Bears with 12-21 left to go here in the first period. Darwood caught in no man's lane without a stick, really couldn't take away that passing lane. Binghamton won the first five minutes of the contest up two nothing and now Carolina leads the middle five of the first period one nothing. See if that will jump start the Carolina offense. Pestica skating into the zone throws on the brakes to wait for some friends. Kick save from McVeigh on a shot from the point stretch pass breakaway for Nikita Ivashkin in all alone blocker save by Cavalieri. What a bounce back save by Cavalieri all alone out in front for Nikita Ivashkin. Icing is going to be nullified. McVeigh comes out of his net to wrap it around the boards. Pestica on his forehand. Leaves it over in the faceoff dot. Lucas Rowe starts a cycle, but it's going to be intercepted by Chad Lopez. Lopez is going to draw a penalty. He loses his helmet. McVeigh is going to head to the bench. And Lopez was interfered with on his way across. Ivashkin stopping and starting. He's taken down. Penalties coming up. Binghamton wants to separate. Bozerin trying to draw a retaliation call from Ivoshkin. Bozerin on his fourth team of the year. 11.23 left to go here, and the Black Bears are headed right back to the Henny Hard Seltzer power play. Believe it or not, folks, we've spent more time on special teams through the first eight minutes of this game than at even strength. Take a look at the Heinz energy replay here. Lopez interfered with, didn't have the puck. Could be a hold either way. And then while he had his helmet off, skating to the bench, he was taken down on the way through. Shalak headed to the penalty box. Carolina's fourth penalty of the period. Any Hart Seltzer power play back in action. Black Bears are officially one for three on the night. Two minute minor. John Shalott, guilty of the penalty. Black Bears try to cross the line. No quarter given at the line by the Thunderbirds and wrapped all the way back down across the boards. Binghamton trying to grab that goal right back on special teams. Oliveri played 88 games in the East Coast Hockey League. Stretch pass off the stick of Ivoshkin. Linesman says that will be tipped. Cavalieri tries to wrap it around the glass. Knocked down by Lopez. Nifty spin move to keep the puck in the offensive side. Oliveri holding it at the blue line. We'll back end one over into the dot for Ivoshkin. Ivoshkin getting some separation. Tipped out in front by Austin Thompson. No relation to Everett. 
Kirkby in the left wing faceoff dot and Tyler Jurich's office in the absence of 22 dressed in black. Lopez holds it on the near boards, fanned on a passing attempt. They get it up to the point for Ivashka and his shot's blocked. Schnapp holds it in. Oliveri was calling for that pass too far out in front for a one-timer. Lopez didn't get everything he wanted on that one-timing attempt. Puck is down low behind the Carolina net. Power move in a four-man pileup. Puts the stick right on the tape of Tucker Firth. Firth will get the red line no further and dump it in. Oliveri sees that his team is changing. Will take an extra second behind his own net. And now Gavin Yates stopping and starting. Oliveri calling for the line change. If Yates can get the red line, he does. And Colin Fisher will take his spot. Yates stopping and starting right wing side. Great separation. 9.33 left to go here in the period. Top of the umbrella. Yates over to Yarwood. Yarwood a wrist shot save. Cavalieri. Puck still available. Yarwood pinching in from his defensive spot. Mass comes off. And the referee blows it down. Ten shots on goal for the Black Bears and four for the Thunderbirds as we head to a media timeout with one second left on the Henny Hart Seltzer power play. We'll be right back after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back to the action on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton. The Black Bears have one second left to go in power play time. JT Walters and Cam Yarwood communicating with each other on the blue line for Binghamton. They know that Jan Shalak is standing at the door ready to be released. And if the Thunderbirds win this faceoff, they're going to maybe try to catch the Binghamton defense sleeping and catch a free one, maybe try to tie this game up. Nine. 23 left to go. Thunderbirds score on their first power play of the game. They are one for one. Binghamton one for three currently. More than likely going one and four so far. One back by Gavin Yates. Kept in the zone. That will take away the breakaway opportunity for the Thunderbirds. Henny Hard Seltzer operating at 25% on the power play tonight. Kirkby right at the red line will dump it in near side boards. Cavalieri steers it on the back end almost too far out in front of his defenseman Daniel Martin. Stretch pass is off of the stick of Shalak and the Black Bears will generate another possession. Tyson Kirkby skating with it at the red line loses his edge in front of the Carolina bench and now the Thunderbirds captain skating away. Shalak in the slot a wrist shot blocked by Powell. Carolina still on the puck but separating a man from it is Mac Lewis, the former SUNY Oswego Laker. Gavin Yates crossing over the blue line, turning on the Jets, staying on the forecheck, but this puck will be batted out of midair by the Thunderbird defense into the Binghamton zone. Referees say to play on here. 8.30 left to go. Black Bears 2, Thunderbirds 1. We want to thank everybody for listening on the radio side of things and on YouTube as well. Now Kyle Powell dumps the puck in softly. Cavalieri will melt it down with his catcher's mitt and hold for a faceoff with 11.44 left to go. Don't forget these same two teams will be facing off tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So go ahead and get your tickets now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com or call the office at 607-722-7367. Newberg, Everett Thompson, and Brett Parker out. Haven't seen this line so, too much yet here in this game because the Black Bears have been on the power play for so long. Newberg over to Thompson. Thompson starts a cycle for Newberg. Newberg's pass a little bit too far in front of Brett Parker, but Everett Thompson sends his man down to the ice. There's his first hit as a Binghamton Black Bear. Boylar with a nifty play in his own end, getting the puck over to his defensive partner, Powell. Ups the puck over to Thompson. 
Thompson gets the puck in for Newberg. Newberg puts a shot on, and it's going to be chipped away. Parker and Schnapp get acquainted at the top of the crease. And Brett Parker getting double teamed in. And now we have a five-man pileup to the right of the Black, excuse me, the Carolina goal. This gives me the opportunity to talk about Ideal Bowling Center. It's where Binghamton hockey fans bowl. With open bowling all week long, money-saving specials, Ideal is a great place for family, friends, company parties, and special occasions. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street, Endicott. So much more than just your favorite bowling alley. Don Oliveri staying out of the scrum, making sure that not all 10 players get acquainted. So hopefully this puck for the Binghamton squad can stay in the offensive side. Well, it's obviously up to the official's discretion. Parker trying to get to a loose puck out in front. Schnapp not too happy with Brett Parker out in front. And then Justin Bioni comes in to speak to Brett Parker as well, and they are going to move this out into the neutral zone. Lopez, Austin Thompson, and Nikita Ivashkin. For all the equipment junkies back at home watching tonight's game, Black Bears electing to go with just Thompson on both jerseys, Everett and Austin. No first initial. Everybody's little tidbit. Stretch pass, Thompson trying to connect with Ivashkin just like last week. That time Carolina was ready for it. They've been in the film room. Now Fitzgerald crossing over the line. Drops it back for Oliveri. A slap shot from the blue line. Easily swallowed up with no net front presence by the Carolina goaltender. Binghamton now up to 13 shots on goal here in the first period. Been hard for McVay to stay locked in so far. He hasn't seen too many shots. He's had to handle the puck a couple of times. But really... Only some power play opportunities for Carolina. So far out in front, Austin Thompson denied on the backhand. Right off the faceoff. Cavalieri was on his toes and ready for it. And the Carolina goaltender has done his part in this one, keeping this game within reach for the Thunderbirds. Black Bears get on the forward check. As the Thunderbirds wrap it around, Gus Ford trying to generate some offense for his squad. Finds a man on the far side of the ice. It's Grabinikov. Grabinikov upended, and Baker tries to center up. Ivoshkin deflects it off the stick of Ford. Ford and Ivoshkin, the two heavyweights in the offensive department for Carolina, excuse me, in the FPHL, playing some defense against each other. That puck was almost pawed into the own Carolina net by PV. PV now coming down the left wing side is upended by Don Oliveri. And a good defensive play for Fitzgerald to take away the centering pass. And now defense turns to offense. Fitzgerald into the zone. He has it on his forehand, upended. Tries to play it off the boards. Kirkby gets on the forecheck to Gavin Yates. Shot blocked out in front. That takes a helmet. No, that's a glove out on the ice. Yates picks up his glove. Trying to make his way back over towards the bench. Yates is in pain. Josh Newberg comes out to take his spot. Mac Lewis on the backhand. Back over to Yarwood, pinching in, centering pass. Nobody home for the Black Bears. JT Walters gets on his horse. He's met by Snap. Walters gets it over to Newberg, and the Black Bears will play the puck into the neutral zone. Walters taken down. They say to play on. Two on two now. A wrist shot snared by McVeigh in the mitt, and he will hold on with 5.35 left to go. Are you a college student? If so, you can purchase $10 tickets to all Black Bears games on Saturday nights, including tomorrow night, and receive a free gift courtesy of Jimmy John's. $10 tickets for college students, and Jimmy John's is located on the Vestal Parkway close to Binghamton University. They even offer freaky fast delivery. 5.35 left to go here in the period. Josh Newberg coming off the ice. Gino D'Angelo, the extra forward tonight. Saw him a little bit on the penalty kill for the Black Bears, and D'Angelo wins it back in his first face-off of the night. Willar puts it on the tape of D'Angelo. D'Angelo sidesteps a Carolina defenseman. Tries to center up, but instead it's going to be knocked away. 
Thunderbirds come away. Pringle taken down. Thunderbirds looking for a call. Not going to get one. Binghamton comes back into the zone. Centering pass for Thompson. It is deflected. Goes right back across the ice off of a Carolina stick. Back up to the point for Walters. Walters wraps it around the boards. Boylar now pinching in. Parker on the backhand wide and a booming hit by Matthew Bosra and Boylar. And Bosra and get acquainted with each other. Boylar and Bosran keep playing instead. That puck is steered by the goaltender out of play. And 4.45 left to go here in this one. A lot of people were worrying about the toughness of Binghamton after the latest trade, but the Black Bears are laying some hits down and the Thunderbirds are responding here tonight. 4.45 left to go in the period. We're going to take our final time out of the first frame. Come back with more here on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. If someone you know should be recognized as a hero of the game, please visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Power outages are a thing of the past when you have a Generac home standby generator installed by the team at American Electric. Give them a call today or visit them on the web at aegenerators.com. Right about now, the funk so rubber. Check it out now, the funk so rubber. Right about now, the funk so rubber. Check it out now, the funk so rubber. Welcome back to Fox Sports. 14.30 in Binghamton, Brooks Hill flying solo tonight here on YouTube and on the radio side. Two for one beers run every Friday night through the end of the first period. So if you're listening around the concourse, go ahead and head to your nearest concession stand now and take advantage of this sweet deal. You got four minutes and 45 seconds to do so. Lopez tries to win the face off, but instead this will be pushed down the length of the ice. Is this going to be icing? They say no. Play on instead. Oliveri chasing after it. Throws it to an open spot. Fitzgerald can only play it off the glass instead. And now Lopez starts his engine. Crossing over the red line and blue line. Gets spun around. Skating backwards. Tried to center it up for Austin Thompson. Out in front. Pestica plays it off the glass. Stays in play. Oliveri at the red line. Tries to backhand it out of the zone. But this time... No quarter given by the Thunderbirds going in the opposite direction. Fitzgerald reverses it back over to his defensive partner. And Oliveri turns it right over to Lucas Rowe. Penalty coming up. Lopez is going to be guilty of a high sticking call. Came from underneath on the stick lift. And another penalty taken by the Black Bears will send the one-for-one -one power play for the Thunderbirds back out on the ice. Chad Lopez guilty of the high sticking call called by the trail official. Just under four minutes left to go here. 16.01 time of the penalty. Chad Lopez, two for high sticking. And we'll see if the Black Bears can kill off their first Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill of the night. Gus Ford held the puck in temporarily at the blue line, but Josh Newberg would steal the next pass and push it back out into neutral ice. Carolina touches up, and Gus Ford starts his engine. Coming in. And a wrist shot is blockered away by McVay. Stays in play. Paw down legally by Baker. Touches it first himself. Keep the play alive. Firth calling for the puck right back. Instead, they go to Ford. Save McVay. Rebound is still available through the blue paint. Where's the puck? It's under Josh Newberg outside the crease. Ford playing it from down on one knee. Schnapp getting to a loose puck over to Baker. Top of the umbrella. Blocked away by Tyson. Kirkby, a diving effort, pushes it down the length of the ice. Gets a thunderous applause from the Binghamton faithful, appreciating the whole body effort from 17 dressed in black. Black Bears, four on the ice. Carolina with five. Halfway through, the penalty kill. Keblinger had it off his skates, and that will put it right onto the tape of Walters. Glides it down the length of the ice, and Binghamton can get some more bodies out on the ice. Ivoshkin trading with Everett Thompson. 
Man coming in for Carolina. Circling back up to Lucas Rowe, top of the umbrella, a wrist shot tipped off of the sh shoulder of Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald in some pain here, battling through it, centering pass too far in front of Pestica. Back up top, Rowe, D to D passing, a wrist shot tipped on. McVeigh made the save, Lewis gets to the rebound and pushes the puck all the way back down. Binghamton with another clearing attempt. That'll change three out of the four bodies. Keblinger out in front. One-timer glove save McVeigh. One second left to go in the Henny Hard Seltzer, excuse me, Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Alex was, would be here and keep me on my toes about that. Hard to keep track of all the sponsorship tonight. Just under two minutes left here in the first period. A one-timer and a glove saved, seen all the way by Riley McVeigh. Baker and Austin Thompson meeting each other. 25s for both respective clubs. Buck push back. Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill did its job. Gus Ford fumbled with it on the first try at the blue line. His only place to wrap the puck and get it deep. He does get it right back, though, into the slot. One-timer high and wide of the target. Riley McVeigh got across in time. Baker tries to center up, but will be stolen away by Boylar. Powell Boylar on that third defensive pairing tonight. But wouldn't be a surprise to see a couple of different defensive shuffling. Ivoshkin to Thompson. Ivoshkin took a man down. Plays continued as Thompson put it on. Cavalieri made the save in the slot. Ivoshkin, one pass too many, or one move too many. Still skating with the puck in the slot. Taken down, penalty coming up. And both teams are seeing plenty of odd man opportunities here in the first period. Gus Ford guilty of the penalty. 18.50 time of the penalty. And the league's leading scorer is gonna be sitting down for at least two minutes. And tripping is the call. Gates wins it back to Fitzgerald. Yarwood, a slap shot, blocked on the way through by Schnapp, and he will clear it all the way down the length of the ice. Black Bears will start with one minute remaining in the period. Black Bears lead two to one. They've led the whole contest so far. A power play goal for Carolina. Got the Thunderbirds on the board. Yates. In power move, denied by Cavalieri. Parker fighting for the rebound, and he's met with thunderous Frustration from Carolina out in front. Yarwood and Schnapp get connected with each other. Parker fighting for a loose puck. Pushes it over into the neutral zone. 45 seconds left to go. Binghamton, 19 shots on goal. In period number one so far, Carolina with eight. Take a look at the Henny Hearts, excuse me, Heinz Energy replay. Power move out in front. Parker tries maybe a one whack too many on a rebound that was not available. And the referees are going to move this puck out into the neutral zone. Take away the offensive zone faceoff for the Black Bears. Yates gets his own faceoff. 40 seconds left to go here in the first period. Yates. Got his stick knocked out of his hands, but the puck gets deep enough that the Black Bears can chase after it. Mac Lewis, big man down low for Binghamton, puts it on a tee for Cam Yarwood. Yarwood tries to find the open man, finds Yates at the blue line. Fitzgerald toes the umbrella. Yates across, low angle shot, and Yates is denied. 15 seconds left to go. Yarwood loading it up. Slap pass to Fitzgerald. Back over to Yates. Left wing faceoff dot. Tries to center up for Out in front, rebounds available. They're gonna say hand pass off of Brett Parker. A neutral zone face off with five seconds left to go in the period. And that might do it here in period number one. Looked like one of the members of the Binghamton squad out in front hit it off of their hand, 
and tried to bat it out of midair. Cavalier made the save. But well, the referee said hand pass. Three seconds left to go here in this one. Carolina wins the faceoff, and they will skate out the remaining time of the first period. Shots on goal, Binghamton 21, Carolina 8, where it matters the most. Black Bears 2, Thunderbirds 1. We're going to take a timeout, come back with the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. We have an interview with Everett Thompson, the newest member of the Binghamton Club. And we have the Columbian Mutual Life Insurance Stat Sheet and the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club highlights to go along with that as well. So don't go anywhere, folks. The Excite Motorsports Intermission Report is coming up after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton. Fans, the Black Bears will return home Saturday and Sunday against the same Carolina Thunderbirds. Saturday night's contest will begin at 7 p.m. and Sunday's afternoon matinee is a part of Kids Day at 3. So go ahead and make sure you grab your tickets now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com and we can't wait to see you there. Black Bear fans, it's now time for the Bricks Barber Company Clip of the Week. Schultz with it on his stick. Throws a cross eyes to Thompson. Wrist shot back door. I Austin scores, and there's the hat trick. Nikita I Austin with his first. Bridge Barber Company located in the number five comments at 41 South Washington Street, right here in downtown Bing. If you're looking to install a beautiful, durable, and handcrafted countertop, call Alice James Construction. The Southern Tier's most trusted stone fabrication will design and install your dream countertop and let you choose from a premium selection of natural stones like marble, granite, or quartzite. Stone or granite countertops starting as low as $35 per square foot installed. Schedule your free quote and receive a free sink with your countertop project. Call 607-275-5495. Canadian Pilsner. Are you looking for a new place to live? Lofts at JC is the official housing partner of the Binghamton Black Bears and the only luxury housing provider offering both two and three bedroom units 
fully furnished for a modern living lifestyle. Lofts at JC is century located in the heart of the Tri-Cities area located at 128 Grand Avenue in Johnson City. Housing applications are accepted online at loftsatjc.com. Once again, that's loftsatjc.com. Magic 1017. Best radio station. Keeps getting better. Better music selection. <laughs> best ever. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Number one for music and fun. It's like the best ever. Magic 1017. 100% local. A wreck is a wreck. An arrest is an arrest. Alcohol, cough syrup, painkillers, sleeping pills. It doesn't matter. Impaired is impaired and it will be prosecuted. Going out tonight? Your local police will be out too. Don't drive, get a ride. Brought to you by your New York State Stop DWI program. Into the slot and Kirby scores on the one-timer. You do not want to miss one minute of Binghamton Black Bear action this upcoming season. With individual game tickets as low as $10 and outstanding group rates, there is no reason to wait to get your tickets to book your group. Call 607-722-7367 or check us out online at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. As the puck below the net, centering pass in front, they score! 4-3 final. Big one, boys. Who's got the suds? <laughs> no, boys. We got something better. What do we got? Jersey, bring us the hennies. Yeah! All right, I got the hennies. <laughs> got the hennies, fellas. Oh, yeah. Start passing these out, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, look at this bad boy. Cheers, baby. <laughs> win like that calls for a real celebration. Henny's Craft Made Hard Seltzer. If you're gonna win, win with a Henny. Are you kidding me? Bourbon flavor?
calling it solo. You can catch the action on the radio side of things all throughout the Southern Road Trip. Thank you for listening to the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. When we come back, we have the second period presented by our friends over at Lofts at JC. Don't go anywhere, folks. Black Bears Hockey is right around the corner on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back to the second period. It's brought to you by our friends over at Lofts at JC. As always, our friends over at Lofts at JC sponsor the second period all season long. They are the official housing partners of the Binghamton Black Bears, offering luxury housing with no compromises. The complex has beautiful one, two, and three bedroom units. Fill out an application today at lofts at jc.com. Once again, that's lofts at jc.com. Long second period change for both teams. Thunderbirds are still a man down for the next 50 seconds as Gus Ford is still sitting in the box for his two-minute minor infraction against Nikita Ivashkin. That came in 18.50 of the period. Faceoff pushed ahead by the Black Bears and Austin Thompson has it on his backhand. He's forced behind the net to slap it back up to the point. Kirkby stopping and starting is taken down from behind but gets the pass off shot from Lopez steered aside by Cavalieri Cavalieri after a couple ones go in early has really stood tall here and withstood the test of the Black Bears Oliveri thought about pulling the trigger on the slap shot instead passes it back to Ivashkin this time he's going to shoot and a blocker shot that's a booming slap shot that the Black Bears have been missing the last couple of weeks in his absence Oliveri gets it set up on a tee from Riley McVeigh. He gets pushed off the puck and look out. Snap, short handed, puts a weak shot on, but McVeigh will just steer that into the corner. Chipped ahead for Kirkby. Takes a look over, finds what he's got, crossing over the line. Penalty time is up to Gus Ford, but out in front. Save, rebound, Black Bears score. Tyson Kirkby at even strength. Right out in front of our friend Trevor in the game ops corner. And the Black Bears have reclaimed their two goal lead. It's an even strength goal, second of the night. Black Bears power play falls to one for five. It won't matter. They score twice in the first minute of the period. This time, 57 seconds in, period number two. And the Black Bears are up by two once again. Tyson Kirkby with his 23rd of the year. Let's listen to Cole Parenti.
Ivashkin gets his second point of the night with a secondary helper. Austin Thompson with his first point with the primary and penalty coming up as Mac Lewis takes down a man just inside the blue line and the Black Bears are headed to the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill once again. Tonight's official is brought to you by the Atlas James Construction Company. Eric Holvig and Derek Waziak, the two referees, linesman Corey Stahl and Chris Fordon on the blue lines. 128 time of the penalty in period number two. Puck gets behind the Black Bears net. Kirk beyond the forehand will push this puck all the way down the length of the ice. Hop over the stick of the Carolina goaltender. Mac Lewis guilty of the infraction. In Carolina, a 200 foot breakout. Copeland, your cross ice off the stick of Newberg. Works out for the Thunderbirds, though. Salak met with pressure by Fitzgerald. Puck behind the goal line, steered back up. Over to Baker. Copeland, your cross ice. Trying to find that window. Wrist shot, save McVeigh. And he holds it down in between his leg and his blocker. Shot was put on by Pringle from the right wing faceoff dot, but instead it steered into the corner. Or excuse me, held onto by McVeigh. The puck was in the corner. Mac Lewis guilty of the trip at 128 of the period. Everett Thompson and Dawson Baker in the dot. Thompson wins it to himself, but kept in by the Thunderbirds as his pocket was picked. A wrist shot by Ford. Missing on the short side, finds the way back up to Baker at the top of the point. Firth and Baker play catch with it. At the blue line, almost brought it out of the zone themselves. Yarwood backhands it out of the zone, tipped on by Brett Parker with a little bit of an extra push. Set back up on a tee and full steam ahead. Dawson Baker reverses it back for Gus Ford. Ford makes one man miss. Gets around Thompson. Toe drags, but Boylar knocks it out. And Everett Thompson off the high glass, exits the zone, gets back defensively as the second forward. Schnapp throws it off of the shin of Thompson. Carolina holds it in. Ford loading it up, looking for a tip. He got one, that got Yarwood up high, and Yarwood is leaking, immediately goes over to the bench. Referee blew the play dead immediately, and Cam Yarwood is headed to the locker room right now. Carolina was looking for a tip, and it deflected off a stick out in front. That caught Yarwood just underneath the visor up high. Stuck out in front. Yarwood throws his glove and helmet down immediately. And he's headed to the locker room. So the Black Bears down to five defensemen for the time being. Just as soon as Yarwood gets back from injury, you just absolutely hate to see that for Cameron. Coach Sherwood directing traffic on the Black Bears bench saying who's going to take his spot for right now. Fitzgerald and Walters will man the blue line while the Black Bears are shorthanded for the next 24 seconds. Worldwide Sports Supply Ice Crew is uh, shoveling up the fluids left by Yarwood. Binghamton up to 25 shots on goal. Carolina with 10. Mac Lewis still has 24 seconds left to go. And his tripping minor. We're getting an update of made available on the status of Cam Yarwood. Team medical staff was getting a head start into the locker room as soon as they saw Yarwood skating towards the, uh, the door. 
If you're looking at the broadcast from the traditional angle, the Black Bears come out of the top right corner of the screen. Carolina comes out of the bottom left, opposite locker rooms on opposite sides. Sixteen fifty-six left to go here. Zamboni door is shut, and we are ready to return to action. Two to one game in favor of the Black Bears. Carolina with twenty-four seconds of power play time left. False start called back by the trail linesman. They're going to hold the clock for a second. Now the puck is dropped. Face off one back by Gavin Yates onto the stick of Tyson Kirkby. And he will just risk that one on goal, steered away by the Carolina goaltender. 12 seconds left to go in the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Mac Lewis is up and ready at the box, but Gus Ford coming down the right wing side. Has it on his forehand. The righty throws a shot. McVeigh got a blocker to it. Puck down low. Ford. Will center up into the slot, outweighing the goaltender, but McVeigh stands tall on the shot from Dawson Baker. Parker rejoins the play, and now Lewis tries to go cross ice right onto the stick of Gavin Yates. Yates losing control of the puck, picks up his speed. It's right directly behind the net. Lewis off the boards up to Fitzgerald. Rear shot looking for a tip. Dawson Baker knocks it clean out of midair, and out come the Thunderbirds two on two going the other way. Here's Martin, throws on the brakes, looking for a tip on the way through from the captain, none provided. Puck goes end over end, snop, bats it in, held in soccer style by Martin. He goes one on three, waiting for some friends. Wrist shot, kick save by McVeigh. On to the stick of Lewis, held in once again. This is where the Black Bears have struggled. Getting the puck out of the zone. D'Angelo, fresh onto the ice, will skate away. D'Angelo working one on two. Leaves the puck for Yates in the near side corner. Yates shoved into the wall. Black Bears in a little bit on the hodgepodge line. Change Thompson losing control in the slot. Just throws it on target. Cavalier will steer it into the corner. Ivashkin being held, but D'Angelo's at the point. He's holding Cam Yarwood's spot for the time being right now as a defenseman. Ivashkin tries to put the puck Back on his forehand, but Bozerin does a good job impeding his progress. Carolina needs a change. They are dumping far side corner, and four out of the five bodies are going to change. Matthew Bozerin, last man out for this unit for Coach Rutledge's club. Fitzgerald cross ice. He misses Lopez and goes the other way. Carolina touches up. Backhander in between two members of the Thunderbirds. Didn't know who was going to play it. And Carolina's forced to touch right back up. D'Angelo intercepts that pass from his defensive spot. Ivashka now crossing the line, drops it back for Thompson. Wrist shot, short side miss, takes a funny bounce off the glass, but Powell decides not to pinch instead. Gets back on defense. Backhander on top in front over the top of McVeigh, who is still standing trying to make the save. Away from Grabinikov. Grabinikov missing a great A opportunity. That time could have tied the game up. That puck is going to be knocked down. Save made by McVeigh from Pescola. And now it's Boylar who's shaken up off of blocking a shot from Carolina. Carolina throwing everything they can to the net, hoping that a rebound is going to walk their way. 14 minutes left to go here in the second period. Black Bears up 3-1 to one, thanks to the latest goal scored by Tyson Kirkby. Back with you after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton.
return home Saturday and Sunday against the same Carolina Thunderbirds. Saturday night's contest will begin at 7 p.m. and Sunday's afternoon matinee. Welcome back to the action. These two teams are going to face off again tomorrow at 7 p.m. and on Sunday for Kids Day at 3 p.m. Go ahead, get your tickets at BinghamtonBlackBears.com or call the office at 607-722-7367. Five on five, turns on the ice. Just waiting for that right, red light to go off. Referee says, play on boys. Face off one back by Josh Newberg. Kyle Powell overskated it though, so the puck becomes available. they are getting a look at the top of the screen, a little bit of a two man pile up between Newberg and Pestica. It's gonna be one back by the Black Bears and Boy Lar. Fanned on it. Backhands it out to Everett Thompson. Cross ice pass right on the tape of Newberg. And Newberg throws a backhander on target. If anything, that would just mean that the Black Bears have an offensive zone faceoff coming up. Chance for everybody to catch their breath as Oliveri and Fitzgerald come out on the ice for Boylar and Powell. Newberg. Last man into the faceoff dot, as always. Tells his team where he's gonna try to win it. Well, linesman scraping up maybe a little bit of snow, or maybe a little bit of some blood still found out on the ice from when Cam Yarwood exited. Don't see Yarwood back over at the bench and he's not waiting over by the locker room door. So no update yet on him. Tonight's winner of the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club's 50-50 raffle ticket is 335346 for $919.50. That is 335346. $919. Looks like we're ready to go. Newberg wins it back to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, wrist shot, and it's blocked out in front. Thunderbirds try to fly the zone, but Binghamton was backed. It's a lock. Pushed aside by Oliveri. He steers the puck all the way around the kick plate. It finds the forehand of Brett Parker. Parker. Throws it over into the skates of Oliveri and Everett Thompson. Two Black Bears in the same spot. Their only plays just to get the puck deep. Binghamton forced a touch up on the delayed off signs as Gavin Yates just throws it back in. Kirkby yelling out orders for his squad on the four check. Mac Lewis up high is F1 right now. Kirkby F2. And he gets the turnover into the slot. Kirkby shot, sent it high. All alone in the slot. Sometimes you get too open. And the Black Bears try to get back defensively. Kevin Jarrah shot, deflected in, and Carolina has tied the game up at two. McVeigh got a piece of it. I believe it goes off the glove and into the net. And excuse me, two to one. Black Bears still on top by one. Beg your pardon. Second goal of the night for the Thunderbirds. Both teams have scored here in the first 10 minutes of period number two. Taking a look at the Heinz energy replay. Josh Keplinger off the goalie and in. Black Bears try to get it back very quickly. Heavy hit laid on by Mac Lewis. Back up to the point for Walters. Walters got a tip, but it sent wide. Kirkby stops and starts. Nobody holding the line for the Black Bears. And here come the Thunderbirds the other way. Keblinger throws a wrist shot. Blockered away by McVeigh. Good bounce back save by the Binghamton goaltender. Carolina, though, still on the offensive attack. Trying to find Ford out in front. He's denied. Black Bears try to get the puck out of the zone. Walters steers it back for Kirkby, who had just picked up his stick and got dislodged from his grasp. And now D'Angelo stopping. At the red line, starting again, he's taken down. Black Bears back to the power play. Good skating ability from Gino D'Angelo to draw another call from the officials. 11.51 left to go, and Binghamton's headed back to the Henny Hard Seltzer power play. At the UHS Sports Medicine Hotline at 
75 Sport. That's 75 Sport. Seven eighteen time of the last goal for the Thunderbirds made it two to three. My apologies on jumping the gun. Daniel Martin gets two minutes for interference against Gino D'Angelo. As you can hear the voice of our fill-in announcer tonight, Cole Parenti, normally our rinkside reporter. Oliveri starts his engine, crossing all three lines. Taken down again. Thompson holds the puck in. That will be knocked out of the air and out come the Thunderbirds shorthanded. In alone, backhander, this game is tied. Black Bears wanted a call, they're not gonna get it. And it's Blake Peavy who ties the game up at three, a short-handed goal for Carolina with 11.23 left to go here in the second period. Black Bears still on the power play for the next 90 seconds. They're going to try to grab the lead right back. Game has not been tied since it was 0-0 at the beginning. 15th of the year for PV. 8.37 in to the period. Black Bears getting a little sloppy with it on the power play. Lopez. Can only hold the puck in his own side. Ivoshkin tries to start his engine and stick handle through the entire defense. Oliveri gets it around one man, but look out. Grabinikov coming in, tries to power it into McVeigh, but the goalie stands tall. Carolina acting like they're the ones on the power play right now. Lopez finally gets control of the puck behind his own net. Binghamton fans imploring the Black Bears to pick it up. This is gonna be an icing coming up against Binghamton. And the crowd going a little restless here in period number two. 34 seconds left to go as they've seen the game get quickly tied up thanks to an even strength goal at 7-18. And then a shorthanded goal followed up from the Thunderbirds almost immediately. Face off one back by the Black Bears. 30 seconds left to go in the Henny Hart Seltzer power play. Olivieri cannot get the puck out of his own zone. He's met with four checking pressure from Pringle. Lopez getting pestered by Butia. Tyson Kirkby gets the loose puck. 15 seconds left to go in the power play. Pringle stays on the four check. Lopez crossing the line. Puts it onto the tape. Ivoshkin blockered away by Cavalieri. Man comes out of the penalty box. Gavin Yates gets to a loose puck. He circles behind his own net. Yates starting and stopping. Got a lot of room to work with. Stays on the forehand, but a good back check at the last second by Daniel Martin. Takes it away. Newberg will pick his pocket, though. It's a three-man pileup. Mac Lewis comes in to Linda Hanboy Lar. Over to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's a slap shot. A riser sent high the target. Boylar keeps it in. Right in front of the linesman. Yates taken down from behind. Tries to wrap it in down low. It's blocked by Martin. Puck available. And Martin gets the red line and goes cross ice over for, for Tucker Forth, who would just slap it in. McVeigh sets it up on a tee. Boylar senses the pressure coming. Puts it over for Everett Thompson. And the forward will just throw it on target. And Cavalieri is forced to hang on. 8.56 left to go here. We're headed to a media timeout. Carolina has tied the game up at three, just over the halfway point of period number two. Back with you after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Excite Motorsports, Broom Matsumas Products, 
Southern Tier Hockey Association, Binghamton Hockey Booster Club, Visions Federal Credit Union, and our season ticket holders. If you would like to be recognized as a group, call 607-722-7367 or visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Well, an uneventful power play for the Black Bears. Last time out, they give up a shorthanded goal that ties the game. Their power play falls to one for six on the night. Newberg, Everett Thompson, and Brett Parker. The forwards, Boylar and Fitzgerald on the blue line. Carolina scored the last two. 8.56 left to go, shots on goal. 19 for Carolina, 29 for Binghamton. Newberg wax the puck into the corner. Carolina will be the first to maintain control. Now we start. Newberg throws it right back into the corner, onto the stick of Thompson. Thompson plays it off the wall. Nice pass over to Brett Parker, but Parker's pass is too far out in front of Newberg. Carolina exits the zone temporarily, but Matu Boylar picks up the loose puck. It's going to be tipped on the way through, says the linesman. Cavalieri coming out, steers it for his defense. And now the Thunderbirds come back out. Bozrin from the left wing side plays it up in the air to Salak. D'Angelo back defensively. Turnaround shot for number 20. And McVay traps it against his chest and holds on for a whistle. 8-12 left to go here in the period. Yates and Koblinger facing off with each other. Koblinger won it forward to himself temporarily, but the Black Bears stripped the puck away. Now Yates crossing the center line and the blue line, trying to drag around a Carolina defender. That's Bioni. D'Angelo couldn't get the puck deep enough, and out come the Thunderbirds the other way. Dawson Baker over to Ford. Ford, a shot that was blocked by D'Angelo off of his stick. And now Binghamton gets to the loose puck. D'Angelo jumping in, gets behind the Carolina net, looking for a friend to pass to. Low angle, centering up off the goaltender, hoping for a bounce and a little bit of puck luck. Ivashkin gets to the rebound. Referee gets in the way inadvertently. Gus Ford picks up the loose change. Black Bears have three players back, and that's what you might need for Gus Ford. Out in front, centering up off the stick of Baker. Shot just wide. Ford getting to the loose puck off the rebound. Top of the point, Baker, wrist shot. That one hits Yates out in front. Fitzgerald gets to the rebound. And another Black Bear down from blocking a shot. That's the third Black Bear who's taken one for the team tonight. Going along with Boy Lar and Yarwood. Yates gets over to the bench. That will send out the Ivoshkin line with Austin Thompson and Lopez. Take a look at the Heinz energy replay. A wrist shot coming from the point. And you can obviously tell that Yates was in some pain as he was making his way back up. Black Bears win the faceoff. Set play, but Ivoshkin couldn't receive the pass from Fitzgerald. Carolina does touch up. Knocked out of midair. Good play by Jacob Schnapp but he puts the puck out of his own zone on the blind backhand pass. Thunderbirds turn it around. They turn it over to Fitzgerald. They have to wait for Thompson to get back to the blue line. Lopez coming in, applying heavy pressure on the forecheck. Binghamton trying to grab the lead right back again. They have not trailed in this game yet. They are tied now for the first time since 0-0. Fitzgerald pushes the puck across the glass. And now Lopez finds Ivoshkin. Good skating from Ivoshkin, but a better back check on the way through by Daniel Martin. Lopez sends a man into the boards. Binghamton touches up, taken down from behind. Black Bears are going on the power play. Ivoshkin's off sides, and cross-checking is the call. Carolina takes another penalty, 
and Binghamton's heading on the power play with 6.16 left to go here in the middle frame. Daniel Martin is the guilty party. Time of the penalty, 15.34. Black Bears power play is one for six. The last one looked lackluster for the Binghamton squad to put it lightly. Good to see Gavin Yates back out and Cam Yarwood has rejoined the team. He's on this power play unit for the Black Bears. Carolina wins the faceoff and they put the puck behind the Binghamton net set up on a tee for Colin Fitzgerald by the Black Bears goaltender. Yates picks his speed up. Gets to the near side. A lot of Black Bears down low, drawing the attention of the Thunderbirds. Most dangerous man who doesn't have the puck is the one closest to the net. They try to wrap it around the boards. Firth does a good job taking time off the clock, pinning it up against the wall. Mac Lewis has it, backhands it over to Yarwood. Yarwood stopping and starting near the goal line. Drops it back over for Parker. Parker now near the goal line extended, back over to Yarwood. Almost halfway through. Yarwood, one-timer. That was tipped wide off of a body part of a Carolina defender. Yates taken down again. Crowd wants another call. They're not going to get it. And Carolina gets it out of the zone. Backhanded out at the red line. McVay coming out of his net. Steers it on the backhand to Fitzgerald. Met with light pressure. Cam Yarwood will start the breakout with his defensive partner. Fitzgerald crosses all three lines by himself. Tries to backhand it deep, doesn't get it there, and Yarwood's going to have to skate after it, really test out how that knee's doing. He gets to the loose puck first, and now Yarwood draws a penalty. Slashing call coming up against Carolina, and Black Bears will have a five on three for 24 seconds as Carolina is guilty of yet another penalty on the night. Slashing is the call. Jacob Schnapp getting Cam Yarwood right on the hands. Is number six going to sit down for two minutes? Five on three coming up for the Black Bears. Golden opportunity when we come back here on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back to the action here on Fox Sports 1430. Brooks Hill flying solo tonight on the call. I want to say a warm welcome to all of our friends from Winston-Salem tuning in tonight's broadcast. We want to welcome you. A little odd for this Raleigh native to be pulling against the team for Carolina. But also excited to call an opportunity for a professional hockey game featuring a team from North Carolina as well. Gavin Yates, a very important face-off for the Black Bears. They're up five on three. They do not win it, but they get to the loose puck. Yates centering up for Yarwood. His shot was blocked out in front by Peavy at the last second. 14 seconds left to go, five on three. Oliveri slap pass over to Lopez. Tries to center up, can't get to it. Carolina does not want to chase after it and get out of position. Yarwood loads it up for Oliveri, slap shot. Made the save, rebound, another save, through the blue paint and out. Man coming out of the penalty box. Yarwood does keep the puck in the zone. Traditional five on four. Now for the Black Bears, slapped out of the zone by the Thunderbirds. One for seven on the power play tonight for Binghamton. They scored on the second power play of the game, but have not been able to add the extra man tally since then. Five on four for the next minute 15. Ivashkin circles the Carolina net. 
Drops it back for Oliveri. Power play specialist does have a point tonight. Down low for Yates, trying to find Lopez on the centering pass. Carolina takes that option away. Turnaround shot, deflected high. Out in front by the Thunderbirds defense. 3.34 left to go here. This one's gonna hurt. Heinz energy replay, puck's available. You're gonna see it skirt through, make its way over. A great save by Cavalieri, and right in between the wickets of Ivashkin. Don't think he expected it coming. One back by Lewis Boilar, circling around the logo. Gets the puck deep enough to the Uxbridge, Ontario native. Fitzgerald top of the umbrella, loading it up for Boilar. Slap shot wide. Fitzgerald gets the puck right back. Loads it back up for Boilar. Over to Kirkby. Kirkby trying to find Thompson in the centering pass. Carolina gets to the loose puck and they will wrap it around the glass once again, get some fresh bodies out on the ice. Now, Fitzgerald crossing the line, dropped it back, nobody covering. Binghamton's forced to touch up once again. Schnapp has 20 seconds left to go in his power play time. Thompson crossing the line, final push for the Black Bears. Kirkby has it popped over his stick, but held in inside the blue line. Fitzgerald circling around, penalty time getting up. Man's coming out of the penalty box. Mac Lewis steers it on the backhand over to Fitzgerald. Kirkby starts backskating. Puck still available in the offensive side. Centering pass for Boylar. Wrist shot. Missed on the short side. Lewis the rebound. Behind the net. Boylar slap shot looking for a tip from Thompson at the last second. Stretch pass and Walters goes down to a knee to play the puck. Take away the breakaway opportunity for Lucas Rowe. Black Bears, though, caught sleeping a little bit. Snap out of the penalty box, didn't come off. Sent it wide, blocker side against McVeigh. Everett Thompson now chasing after a puck. He has it, now skating in left wing side, looking for a shot, puck's available. They try to bank it in off the goaltender. What a heads up play from Yarwood. And a good shot put on by Everett Thompson. Referee melts it down. We're all square at three with just under two minutes left to go. Black Bears now one for eight on the power play tonight. Newberg tries to push it forward, but the puck's left behind. Everett Thompson tries to center it out in front for Newberg. Can't get a clean shot on. Koblinger gets across the blue line, puts it too far in front of his winger. And now Baker lost control of it. Parker saucers it over to Thompson, paws it down to his forehand. Thompson sent down to the ice, but Parker still has control of the puck temporarily. Tries to center up. But Grimbenikoff gives Parker a rough ride. Thompson and Parker get off for a line change. Another Thompson and Ivoshkin will take their spot. Newberg, last man off on the forward group. Ivoshkin comes out on the ice. Grabinikov will ice this puck right in front of the penalty box door. 109 left to go here in the second period. Shots on goal, Binghamton 32, Carolina 20. Shots in the period, 11 for the Black Bears and 12 for the Thunderbirds. Lopez fighting for it still in the faceoff dot, but Baker will get to it. Puck still available, paddle down for Cavalieri, he pins it up against the wall and the referee will blow his whistle. The referee was positioned on the opposite side of the eyes, really couldn't see where the puck was. Cavalieri trying to extend some gainsmanship, adjusting his mask a little bit. Lopez gets to the face off. Thompson tries to put it back up to Fitzgerald at the blue line, but instead Gus Ford skates away. Ford, always dangerous, tries to drag around Oliveri. Penalties coming up. And tripping is the call, and the Carolina power play is headed back on the ice with 46 seconds left to go in the period. 
felt that one was coming. 19-14 time of the penalty for the Black Bears. Oliveri gets two minutes for tripping, and when you go long body, hard to control yourself, and the forward, Gus Ford, gets upended, his feet taken out right from underneath him. Black Bears gonna try to get to the locker room in a 3-3 contest. Newberg wins it back where Lars slaps it off the back of the linesman. Puck stays in the offensive side for Carolina. Newberg takes a high stick. Puck still available, but it does hop out. Carolina's gonna be forced to touch up. Newberg gets his mouthpiece back in, make sure all of his chicklets are still there. Don't want to be spitting those out. Now here comes Pringle. Pringle crossing the line, throws on the brakes. Keblinger, top of the umbrella, over a wrist shot. McVeigh made the save without looking at it. Puck still available. Turnaround shot, Salak, right at the faceoff dot, but McVeigh saw that one and traps it against his chest. 11 seconds left to go here in period number two. Newberg with perhaps the biggest faceoff of the night. He wins it back, but a false start or maybe an uneven drop. Referee signaling over to the penalty box and telling the scoreboard operator to hold for one. Got to talk to Brett Wiseman earlier today, the play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Carolina Thunderbirds. And he was an intern for the Thunderbirds to a friend of mine, uh, Drew Blevins, or Toes, as I called him in the baseball industry. Centering pass, shot and save made by McVeigh. That'll eliminate the rest of the time. A big save from Riley McVeigh in the dying seconds of the period. We'll finish those thoughts in just a little bit. The Thunderbirds tie the game up at three with two unanswered goal. Total shots on goal, 22 for Carolina, 32 for Binghamton. Black Bears make their way off the ice and after 40 minutes, we are knotted at two, excuse me, knotted at three. Coming up, we have the Columbia Mutual Life Insurance Stat Sheet. We have the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club highlights and a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, plus maybe a look at the standings as well. Take a timeout, come back with more here on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Fans, the Black Bears will return home Saturday and Sunday against the same Carolina Thunderbirds. Saturday night's contest will begin at 7 p.m. and Sunday's afternoon matinee is a part of Kids Day at 3. So go ahead and make sure you grab your tickets now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com and we can't wait to see you there. Black Bear fans, it's now time for the Bricks Barber Company Clip of the Week. Schultz with it on his stick. 
Throws across ice to Thompson. Wrist shot back door. Ivoshkin scores, and there's the hat trick. Nikita Ivoshkin with his first. Bridge Barber Company located in the number five comments at 41 South Washington Street, right here in downtown Big. If you're looking to install a beautiful, durable, and handcrafted countertop, call Alice James Construction. The Southern Tier's most trusted stone fabrication will design and install your dream countertop and let you choose from a premium selection of natural stones like marble, granite, or quartzite. Stone or granite countertops starting as low as $35 per square foot installed. Schedule your free quote and receive a free sink with your countertop project. Call 607-275-5495. Canadian Pilsner. Are you looking for a new place to live? Lofts at JC is the official housing partner of the Binghamton Black Bears and the only luxury housing provider offering both two and three bedroom units fully furnished for a modern living lifestyle. Lofts at JC is century located in the heart of the Tri-Cities area located at 128 Grand Avenue in Johnson City. Housing applications are accepted online at loftsatjc.com. Once again, that's loftsatjc.com. Magic 1017. The best radio station. It keeps getting better. Better music selection. Best ever. Best ever. <laughs> Makes me feel better. Number one for music and fun. It's like the best ever. Magic 1017, 100% local. A wreck is a wreck. An arrest is an arrest. Alcohol, cough syrup, painkillers, sleeping pills. It doesn't matter. Impaired is impaired, and it will be prosecuted. Going out tonight? Your local police will be out too. Don't drive. Get a ride. Brought to you by your New York State Stop DWI program. Into the slot and Kirby scores on the one-timer. You do not want to miss one minute of Binghamton Black Bear action this upcoming season. With individual game tickets as low as $10 and outstanding group rates, there is no reason to wait to get your tickets to book your group. Call 607-722-7367 or check us out online at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Puck below the net, Zittery pass in front, they score! 4 3 final. Big one, boys. Who's got the suds? <laughs> no, boys. We got something better. What do we got? Jersey, bring us the hennies. Yeah! All right, I got the hennies. <laughs> got the hennies, fellas. Oh, yeah. Start passing these out, eh? Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah, look at this bad boy. Cheers, baby. <laughs> a win like that calls for a real celebration. Henny's Craft Made Hard Seltzer. If you're going to win, win with a Henny. Are you kidding me? Bourbon flavor?
Welcome back to the third period of tonight's contest presented by our friends over at American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. They are built to a hired standard. Black Bears and Thunderbirds knotted at three. Through 40 minutes, we have settled nothing. 20 minutes getting ready to be put up on the board so we can decide a victor here tonight. This is the first of five matchups between the two sides this season. The final two will be in Carolina, March 10th and 11th. The next two will be Saturday and Sunday here in Binghamton. Don Oliveri makes his way back to the penalty box. Tara Pitcher pinch hitting as the MC tonight. Cole Parenti doing the same thing as the PA announcer. One minute, 14 seconds of power play time for the Thunderbirds. We'll see who's going to get the bigger edge here. Final period, 20 minutes up on the board. There's been a scoring change with the White Bears' first goal. Number 57, Cam Yarwood, has been added at secondary. And, and we hear that announcement from Cole Parenti. Cam Yarwood has been given a secondary assist on the first goal. Gus Ford trying to dance in around Fitzgerald. Held in, though, by Tucker Forth. Ford inside the blue line. Wrist shot off the glove of McVeigh behind the net. Fitzgerald fanned on the clearing attempt. Tries to get it to an open spot. Instead, pins it up against the boards. Newberg wraps it around. Linesman steps over the puck and the Black Bears get it out of harm's way. 30 seconds left to go to the penalty to Don Oliveri. Fresh penalty killers out on the ice on the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Baker has his pass knocked away by Mac Lewis. That'll take more time off the clock. 15 to go in the man advantage for the Thunderbirds. First, drops it back over for four. The quarterback, the leading scorer in the FPHL. Wraps it around the boards. Mac Lewis gets to the loose puck. Oliveri's been released. Stretch pass. Kirkby plays it down two on one. Oliveri and Kirkby. Oliveri ran out of real estate, didn't make a pass. And now gets sent down to the ice, though. Penalties coming up. Mac Lewis thrown down by Schnapp. Black Bears need to skate away. They're headed to the power play. No retaliations needed. 18.33 left to go. You can see that Kirkby wasn't too happy that a pass or a shot didn't come off of that two on one. Maybe Oliveri didn't know the numbers were with him. And Baker's headed to the penalty box. First penalty of the third period. Carolina's power play falls to one for four on the night. 18.33 left to go. And I believe they got the wrong guy there. I believe that was Tucker Firth instead. 22, not 25. But either way, a man's headed to the penalty box for the Thunderbirds. 
My eyes have been deceiving me all night looking at numbers, but the Black Bears are on a five on four power play. They get the puck back to Oliveri. Carolina heavy on the chasing pressure. Can the Black Bears hold it in? They cannot. Oliveri is going to chase after it in his own side. And now Kirkby starts the breakout. Lopez crosses the line, sidesteps one man. Kirkby shot blockered away into the netting by Cavalieri. No, they say that puck stays in. I told you guys that my eyes were deceiving me. Oliveri skates around one man through the slot. Low angle shot off the pad of Cavalieri. And PV will backhand that one all the way out of the zone. Carolina gets some fresh bodies out on the ice as McVeigh steers it on the backhand. Oliveri too far in front of Lopez and sent right back down the gut by the Thunderbirds. Second unit coming out. Josh Newberg getting some power play time. Cam Yarwood, Gavin Yates joining him. Yates going east to west. A lot of speed. Yates power move out in front. Rolled off his stick. Fresh ice conditions. Maybe that's a play that works late game when there's a lot more snow on the ice, especially in the crease. Yates going to try it again. On the backhand, Lewis couldn't get there in time. Fitzgerald and Newberg both chase after the puck. And that lets Carolina put the puck back out into the neutral zone. 38 seconds left to go in power play time. Salak has it wrapped away from his stick by Fitzgerald. Turnover, though, out in front. And a good back check by Fitzgerald. Carolina eating up power play time. They just keep dumping the puck right back in. 20 seconds left to go in the penalty. Fitzgerald finds Newberg up at the blue line. Puts it right onto the tape of Yates. Yates starts his engine. Low angle shot. That might have gone off the side of the mask of Cavalieri. Newberg. Back over to Lewis. Penalty time getting ready to expire. Two seconds. Newberg loads it up for Yarwood. Didn't get everything on it. Black Bears power play falls to one for nine on the evening. Five on five, terms of the ice. Even where it matters the most at three on each side of the board. Yates taking down another penalty coming up. And the Black Bears headed right back to the power play. Cross checking is the call this time. Maybe the 10th time is the charge. Here, 16, 16 left to go here in the period. 3.44 time in the penalty of the third period for Carolina. Just as soon as they get done killing one penalty, they get another one, and it's the same man. Dawson Baker headed right back to the penalty box. A cross check from behind as you get a look on the Heinz energy replay. Not the hardest of cross checks, but Baker with his hands apart, making contact in the numbers with a member of the Binghamton squad. Out in front, off the stick of Lopez. Ivoshkin slap shot wide. Thompson tried to backhand it out of midair. Cavalieri got across and pushed it aside. Oliveri over to Ivoshkin. Oliveri calling for it again. Skate to stick. Wrist shot looking for a tip. And Thompson gets his stick put up into the air. And here go retrieve it as Cavalieri made the save. Deflected it out in front, right into his mitt. Looks like Ivoshkin wants a different stick. He will go and get one. Jacob Schnapp trying to get in the grill of Austin Thompson. Lines McSinley, he's ready to go. Puck is dropped. Carolina gets to the faceoff. Firth wraps it around the glass all the way down. 90 seconds remaining in the Henny Hart Seltzer power play. That is one for nine on the night. 11% so far for the Black Bears. And now Lopez crossing over the line. He's taken down. Snap getting to the loose puck, gets it to his forehand. Held in, though, by Thompson. Over to Lopez. Lopez in the dot, dropping it back for Ivoshkin, a little bit behind Nikita. Ivoshkin up at the line, loading it up for Oliveri. Slap shot and flashing the leather. Cavalieri, what a save by 72 in white. That's a dandy right there. Oliveri, the hardest shot on the team, no doubt. 
And Cavalieri down in the splits makes a dazzling glove save. Apologies for everybody on the radio side of things. Paired we have disconnected. We're gonna try to plug back in here. Hopefully we're back up here on the radio side of things. On YouTube, we're still live. Kirkby down over to Lopez. Black Bears trying to get to a loose puck instead. And Oliveri has it batted away. Hey, I'm, tr hey, I'm, yeah, I'm trying. I'm still on, I'm still on on YouTube. I'm trying to get back. All right, Ivashkin sends his man into the wall. Apologies for the technical difficulties here. We got disconnected from the radio side of things. And a wrist shot from Oliveri is turned aside by Cavalieri. Lewis gets to a loose puck. Ten seconds left to go in the power play. Yarwood at, up at the top of the umbrella. And Yates will just wrap it around the boards for Lewis. Lewis on the backhand, out in front, just escapes the grasp of Gavin Yates, held in though by Josh Newberg. Penalty time is up. A wrist shot, it's tipped wide, going the other way. Penalties coming up, and this time it'll be the Black Bears guilty of the penalty at the end of their power play. Spent a lot of time and even strength here tonight. We'll find out about this penalty when we come back here on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton. Welcome back to the action coming out of the timeout. We're back up on the radio side of things. Sorry about the difficulties. Carolina is back up on the power play. Cam Yardwood guilty of a penalty in the offensive end. Slap pass is in the feet of Dawson Baker. He fanned on it, but his squad got to the loose puck. Baker trades spots over with Firth. Firth, a wrist shot. Kick saved by McVay. Black Bears get to the loose puck. Everett Thompson tries the backhand one out of the zone, but no luck for the Black Bears. Baker, top of the umbrella. Ford's calling for it. He gets it in the faceoff dot. Shot, McVay makes the save. Can't control the rebound. They go right back to Ford. And it's back out into neutral ice. Carolina's going to be forced to touch up. Binghamton can only get one new body out on the ice. Ford drops it back over. Halfway through the Northeastern Striping Corporation penalty kill. Slap shot friendly fire for Carolina. On that one timing attempt. 
And now the Black Bears can get out and change. Firth drops it back and then will act as a moving pick on the way through Ford. Shot blocked by Powell. Hops up, batted out of midair. Puck still available down low. Top of the umbrella, Tucker Firth over to Dawson Baker. Baker surveys his options, finds the lock, drops it back over for Firth. Wrist shot wide of the target. Black Bears have it bounce off of the back of their own cage. Held in the zone though by Carolina. 20 seconds left to go in the power play. Baker thought about a slap pass instead. He's gonna take down Mac Lewis and Colin Fitzgerald's gonna skate one on one. Fitzgerald goes and puts it up, it stays in play. Lewis gets off the ice. And now Yarwood's up and ready. Coming out of the box, Cam Yarwood, penalty time is up. Northeastern Striping Corporation, penalty kill, does it again. Salat sent into the wall by Ivashkin. Tempers failing here in the third period. Black Bears trying to get the momentum right back. Yarwood can't get out, Koplinger. Toe drags around boy Lar. Ivashkin chases after the loose puck. Bodies flying here in the third period. A good sidestep. And now Salak, top of the point. Greenwich out in front. Back into diving effort by Matu Boylar. Puck still available. McVeigh makes the save. What a sequence of events. Boylar saved a goal on the diving effort. And then McVeigh follows it up with a save of his own. The Black Bears get a much needed whistle with 11.28 left to go. Carolina power play, one for five now on the night. Utiza, who has the power play goal for the Thunderbirds, push that face off forward. Oliveri try to get it out of the zone instead. Martin loses it to Gavin Yates, and the Black Bears now can generate some offense. They already have 40 shots on goal. Yates tried to toe drag around a defender, but instead Carolina gets it out of the zone. Matt Bazarin crossing over the line with Butita. Fitzgerald takes the hit, held in though. Rabinichoff has a shot blocked. Off the hand of Yates. No, excuse me, that's Kirkby, and then gets run into by Yates. Putita puts it over for Bosrin. Bosrin was looking for a tip out in front from Koblinger. He didn't get one. Takes a funny bounce off of the glass, and now Tyson Kirkby would just flick it out into neutral ice. Carolina dumps it in inadvertently into their own zone. Yates is on the four check. Yates saying that he caught his stick up high. Thompson. Shoves his man off the puck. And it's been a great game here. 10.25 left to go. Walters pins a guy up against the boards. And now Butita, low angle shot, stays in play off the glass. They try to find Ivoshkin. Sprung, gonna have to get around Firth. Firth pokes it away from Ivoshkin. And Butita coming away with the loose puck. Lopez on the four check. And the captain from Carolina does a good job getting it out of his own zone. Pringle now two on two with snap. Shot and a blocker save made by McVeigh. 28 shots now for Carolina. Ivoshkin tips a pass, but Firth gets to a loose puck and rides the high glass. Nope, they say that one gets out of play into the safety netting. 9.43 left to go. Gives everybody here a chance to catch their breath. What a game we have. If this is going to be like any of the remaining four, oh boy, we are going to be in treat for some good hockey in the coming days. More coming up in a 3-3 hockey game after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back to the action on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton. 
The Learning Ladder Child Care Centers are located in Endicott and Johnson City. They enroll children ages 6 weeks to 12 years old. Call 607-770-3806 for an appointment today to walk through one of their facilities. Come join their family and they will help your child grow. Binghamton 40 shots on goal. Carolina 28. Carolina 6 in the period. So far, Binghamton with eight. Both teams scoring just one goal on the power play tonight. Salak has it on his backhand, circles the Binghamton net, stopping and starting, but run into by Chad Lopez, separating him from the puck, and it now finds the stick of Austin Thompson. Chip and charge for Austin Thompson. Goalie's way out of his net. Black Bears try to get to a loose puck. Cavalieri recovers and is back in his crease. Nice touch pass from Pesquua over to Rowe. Rowe on his backhand, tries to center up. Nobody home for the Thunderbirds. Lopez tries to get it out of the zone. First try is unsuccessful, but then Yarwood makes a better play. Lopez coming down Main Street, but instead he's upended. Puck down low just outside the trapezoid. Ivashkin gets it on his forehand, runs out of real estate, cleaned up by the Thunderbirds defense, and Peavy starts the breakout. Rowe knows that he has a line change going on, so he just tries to get it deep, but he's going to be back checked away by Brett Parker. Parker crossing the line, one on three. Thompson tried to spin Orama with the puck out in front, but it's going to be floated away into neutral ice. Baker crossing over the line, Boylar chipsing it ahead. Now Everett starting his engine. What can the new guy do in late? A wrist shot, Cavalieri makes the save. Seen all the way. 8.26 left to go. Make that shot 41 on the night for the Black Bears Club. Going down the stretch here in Binghamton. Newberg, Parker, and Thompson. Out on the ice, Powell comes in to chip it ahead. Parker has it, stopping and starting. Tries to wrap it down low for Newberg, but he hit the wall instead. Puck still available, Powell tries to soccer style this one in the zone, but Newberg cleans it up outside the blue line. Boylar skates behind his own net for some space and separation. Eight minutes left to go here in regulation time. We're looking for a go-ahead goal. Mac Lewis separated from the puck. Tyson Kirby will take his spot on the four check. And they try to elevate it out to Gus Ford. Good play by Boylar to keep the leading point streak, or excuse me, the 21 point streak score at bay for the time being. Now Ford crosses the line, tries to center up, but a back check waiting is Tyson Kirkby. Gets across the red line. Left over for Mac Lewis. He can only dump it in as the Black Bears are waiting on the opposite side of the ice to cross the line. Ford on his tape, poked away by Fitzgerald. Keplinger works it down low for Ford. Now behind the net for Firth, centering pass, read all the way by Oliveri. Plenty of room. They're gonna try the flick pass for Austin Thompson. Beats out the icing, but doesn't have any room to put a shot on goal. Puck gets down low in the corner, and Keplinger now in control. Picks his head up, surveys his options, and he just dumps it in, cross corner. Referees say to play on, and now Yates, spin Rama Oliveri waiting for the touch up, puts it back into his own side. McVeigh coming out, will play the puck up to Lopez, forcing Carolina to touch up. PV. Late breaking, two on one, out in front, paddle down for McVeigh, steers it into the corner. Oliveri lays a hit on snap. A little bit of an extra shove, shot off target, but the Black Bear goaltender will snag it anyway. Snap and Oliveri get face to face, but both linesmen come in between and separate those two parties very quickly. 6.19 left to go in the third period.
Josh Newberg, Brett Parker, Everett Thompson out on the ice. Newberg wins it over to Walters on the wing, and the Black Bears will get the puck out of the zone. Thompson will dump it deep. Brett Parker chases after it. Black Bears, temporary control of the loose puck. Thompson, low angle shot. Cavalieri makes the save and will bring it to his glove to melt it down. Thompson getting his shots on goal up here in game number one for the Black Bears. It's been a big presence on the physicality side of things as well. Not afraid to throw the body around. Had 18 points this year with the Motor City Rockers in 28 games played. Seven tenths of a point per game. Newberg and Lucas Rowe going at it with each other. And now Newberg's going to be asked to leave the faceoff dot. He's going to get his money worth talking to the linesman. And Brett Parker comes in to take his spot. Newberg a little bit too soft on the pass after Parker won the faceoff. Now it's a lock on the back end. Tries a power move around Yarwood. Takes a lot to get around Yarwood. Grabinikov down low in the slot. Halak. Thought his defenseman was going to play the puck instead. Carolina touches up. Binghamton was in the midst of a line change. Shot goes end over end. Pestica losing control, and Austin Thompson floats it over for Ivashkin. Goalie comes out to play the puck, nullifying the icing in Grabinikov. Takes a hit on the way through from Lopez, and then Lopez taken down. From behind the play, he's injured. Ivashkin and Grabinikov getting each other's faces. Caught a stick up high. Everybody getting acquainted with each other except for the injured Chad Lopez. We got players trying to pull everybody out of the pile. Can't make a scene of who's in the middle of it. Salak and Powell on the outside. Ivashkin and Grabinikov tied up. Boy, Lar. And Baker standing on. The linesman's got a hold of somebody. Lucas Rowe being ushered out of the pile by the linesman. And then the linesman with some extra words. And looks like a Lucas Rose night. No, excuse me. They grabbed the wrong guy. They're going to send. This is very odd. Justin Bonini over to the penalty box. See if we can see that from that first angle again for our friends down in the video room. So. Thompson in the middle. So Lopez puts a hit on. And then Bonini coming in a little up high on Lopez. Thompson now sent to the penalty box as well for the Black Bears. So two minutes are going to be up on the board for each side at 14.38 of the period. Third period action here. Waiting for a signal from one of the referees. If you stay at four on four or we go to or four on four or remain at five on five. So we're gonna go to four on four. Dawson Baker back in the penalty box. Both get two for roughing. We are at four on four. Centering pass out in front of Lopez. And Keplinger will just throw it back out into neutral ice. 
Stretch pass out in front of Ivoshkin. Goaltender comes out of his net and plays it all the way around the boards. Lopez gets on the forward check. Puck still available. Turnover, Oliveri on the backhand. Had it stripped away, but Ivoshkin gets it right back to him. Oliveri, a wrist shot blocked. Stays in play off the glass, missing the target. Carolina now the team fumbling with it in their own side. Looks like a part of a broken stick is out on the ice. Looks like a butt in maybe. Ivoshkin with the puck behind the net. Stopping and starting, centering up for Yarwood all the way back at the umbrella. Oliveri tries to go cross ice right into the skates. Black Bears are going to have to get back. Koplinger, shot and a goal. Four on four. And we finally have a difference maker in this one. Black Bears couldn't complete the pass in their own end. And Carolina goes the other way, and they have the lead for the first time tonight. Four minutes left to go. It's the first goal of the period. Three straight goals for Carolina. 15-59, time of the penalty, or time of the goal, rather. Now a short side goal over the shoulder of McVay. And now the Black Bears are going to have to play catch up. Time running out here. Carolina Thunderbirds goal, the second of the game. Second of the game. Goblinger getting his 28th of the season. Now Pestica crossing over at the line. Trying to center up for Rowe on the back door. Black Bears cannot get the puck out of the zone. Pavey tries to center up. Now it will be Carolina, the ones content to run some time off the clock. 15 seconds left in four on four time. Rowe looking for a tip. He got one from Pavey out in front, but instead Colin Fitzgerald gets the puck and he will start the engine going the other way. Powell centers up for Fitzgerald, lost his edge. Nothing there, we return to five on five. A four on four goal for the Thunderbirds is the difference maker here in this one. That shot off target. Now three minutes left here in regulation time. Black Bears need one to try to force overtime. Fitzgerald peppered from behind and Lopez couldn't get the puck out cleanly out of the zone. Thompson at the red line tries to push across to an open teammate, Ivoshkin. Tries to go through the entire Carolina defense, but the last man will stop his progress. Now Pringle tries to go one on two. Unattainable. Ivoshkin tries to catch a pass off the boards, but referee says they're off sides. 2.18 left to go. Parker chasing after the loose puck and Pringle behind his own net, creating separation. Carolina content to run out the clock. Here, D'Angelo chasing after it. Over to Walters. Two minutes left to go here. Carolina, 30 shots on goal. Brett Parker had it chipped away. Now Josh Newberg had it batted away. Open ice play, D'Angelo chasing after it. A minute 50, McVeigh staying put. Cross ice dumping, no icing. Black Bears have to chase after it. Now on the stick of Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo ups the puck over to Brett Parker. Parker tries to get it deep, he cannot. Kyle Powell has control and now the puck's below the goal line. McVeigh tries to center up, puck is available on the blue paint. Cavalieri now jumps on top of it. Referee very on top of that play to let it go as he saw the puck was available. Just under 90 seconds left to go here in the period. Carolina has the lead for the first time today. A four on four goal scored by Josh Koplinger is the difference maker so far. Gut check time for the Black Bears here inside Vision Veterans Memorial Arena. 90 seconds left to go after this message from Fox Sports 1430.
action on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton on the radio side of things, and on the YouTube side as well. McVeigh will vacate the net for the final minute 27. Black Bears, extra skater out. Carolina has stormed back from down two nothing and three to one. They've scored the last three goals in the contest. Black Bears win the face off. Tyson Kirkby has it on his stick. Gets it back up to Yarwood. Yarwood slaps it over to Oliverius. Slap shot well wide of the target. Kirkby can't keep it in. Binghamton's going to be forced to touch up. And everybody needs to come back for Binghamton. The high forward checking pressure from Carolina has been an issue all night. Now Ivoshkin has it on his stick. Creates some separation, but gets sealed up against the boards. Puck's going to be glided down the length of the ice. Oliveri going to get to the dot first. And Binghamton thought they had an icing call. Coach Sherwood giving it to the official now. That puck was thrown all the way from the Carolina end into the Binghamton zone. That is a missed call. And the Black Bears. Missed that one and now. Binghamton's going to call their timeout with 45 seconds left to go. They're in their own end. Oliveri raced to the dot, expected the whistle. It never came. And then shot the puck down the opposite side himself. So that, that's a 200-foot play. If our friends in the video room can ride that back one more time. Look at this, behind the goal line, thrown all the way down the length of the ice, doesn't touch anybody, and it goes off the boards. Nothing you can do about it now. You're gonna roll with the punches. Five seconds left to go here. It's a defensive zone faceoff for the Black Bears. They win it, and Oliveri skates behind his own net, floats the puck out to neutralize. Black Bears touch up. Gavin Yates takes an elbow up high. They say to play on. And this time, the puck is going to be shot down the length of the ice. Is it going to make the line? It does. And the crowd will sarcastically clap for the linesman. 28 seconds left to go. McVeigh leaves the net. Black Bears have used their timeout. Now they try to get set up. Yates trying to direct traffic. Extra attacker is Chad Lopez. Teams fight for it on the inboards. Tyson Kirby gets to a loose puck. Yates can't control it. Grabinikov holding it across on the backside of the net. Carolina wants to run out the clock. They do not want the puck to go anywhere. Binghamton getting frustrated. 10 seconds left to go here. They're going to tie up. Puck becomes available. It's at the point for Yarwood. Yarwood shot at the point. Cavalieri holds tight. And then Tyson Kirby gets absolutely manhandled. Cavalieri throwing some punches. And Salak and Kirkby get immediately tangled up.
Cavalieri and Oliveri now talking with each other. Salak and Kirkby both send to the locker rooms with under five minutes left to go in the period. That's customary for fight majors. Black Bears finally got it out of that little scrum. And then Kirkby's standing at top. Calaveri starts throwing some punches. And chances are with this being a, if those go to be fighting majors instead of roughing, this will move the puck into the neutral zone and all will just about eliminate the chances the Black Bears have. They got the face-off dot in the neutral zone marked. Just under three seconds left to go here in this one. Don't forget we have the La Quinta Inn and Suites intermission, or excuse me, post game show coming up after the conclusion of this one. Carolina is going to take the eight hour bus ride through the night and more than likely hang on to the three points here. They did not lead until the third period. 15-59 into the period. Referees getting together. Newberg is going to take the last face off of tonight's contest. Oliveri is going to skate out as far wide as he can possible. Willar puts it. It's off target. And that's going to be the end of tonight's contest. Final score, Thunderbirds 4, Black Bears 3. Carolina scores the final three goals of the contest. And that'll do it for us here tonight for our in-game coverage. We're going to come back La Quinta Inn and Suites postgame show after these messages on Fox Sports 1430 in Binghamton. tomorrow.